Tonight on our throwdown, we will take a closer look at Friday's second round matchup between NC State and Temple in the East Re Region. And to do so, please welcome in the left corner, NC State student and American Idol winner, Scotty McCreary. And in the right yeah, corner, please welcome Temple alum and Super Bowl champion, Raheem Brock. Before we get started, Scotty, what have you been up to lately? Yeah, man. Hey, I'm on the road right now. Weekend road trip tour. I'm out there headlining with Sarah Darling. And uh, so y'all can come check us out. They were working on the album. But uh, World Vision is helping sponsor the tour right now. So uh, it's one of those things that I'm really involved in, sponsoring a kid. And, and uh, so you get the chance to do that if you come to my show. You can go online and do it there. But, but come check a show out and then check out the album when it comes out soon. Very nice. Raheem, what about yourself? What have you been up to? Uh, I got my foundation, RaheemBrock.com. Come check it out. I got my record label with Phoenix. Y'all can go to sheisphoenix.com and um, y'all can come to my restaurant. Bro, this needs to be more. Check out Brock's Wings. Very, Very cool. nice. You're both involved in some charitable efforts. I'm sure lots of kids look up to both of you, but they're not going to look up to what's about to happen because it's about to get filthy, dirty, and nasty. Let's get it on. Hello. All right, fellas. As we know, fans go crazy for their teams during March Madness. So we want to know, Raheem, who has the better fan base, Temple or NC State? Of course we got the better fan base. We have campuses all over the country. You know, we... we we're taking all, we're taking, and we're also taking all the fan base from the Penn State guys up there in, Penn, in Pittsburgh. We have the biggest fan base, way bigger than North Carolina State. All right, University oh, of Phoenix has a big fan base too, but Scotty, true. why are the that NC State fans the very best? Oh, come on, man. I've been a State fan since I was a kid. My dad went there, but man, the thing that makes State fans so good is that they're loyal, okay? You can't be a Fairweather State fan because recently there ain't been a lot of Fairweather, okay? So, I mean, we're, we're still packing out Carter Finley Stadium. We're still packing out PNC Arena. Uh, and I, I think the boys appreciate that out there on the basketball court. So, State fans, they're loyal and they're great, man. I'm telling you. That's rough. NC State has to share the state. Temple has to share the city. So, that's a tough <laughs> ass by my man Raheem. Now, keeping with the hey, two Temple schools. Temple runs the city. Temple runs the city we know that uh, i don't know <laughs> villanova might have a little bit something to say about that all right keep it with the two schools which one has the better comedic alumni scotty this is a tough ass tell us why nc state should be proud to call zach galifianakis a member of the wolf pack over temple alum bill cosby Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, anytime you go up against Bill Cosby, you, you, you don't really stand a chance. But Zach Galifianakis, I'm telling you, he's the man right now. He's in, been in the hangover, the campaign, all kinds of movies, hosting SNL. Uh, you know, he's just, he's funny. He's just starting out. Bill Cosby's been around. He, he's, he's iconic. But Zach Galifianakis, he's the man. And uh, he throws up the wolf signs, too. So you got to show him some love. There you go. That's true. I do enjoy Between Two Ferns. Although John Chaney attacking John Calipari was one of the funniest things I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. But we're going with Bill Cosby. Raheem, is there any question that Bill Cosby is not only the funnier alum in this case, but the funniest alum of any school? There's no question Bill Cosby is the funniest, the most hilarious, one of the best alums from Temple University, always representing Temple University, always wearing Temple gear, hats, and sweaters on anything he does. He always represents Temple University. We love Bill Cosby. Except for the time he wore the UMass outfit that we had photos on here, but that's all good. Uh, it's okay. Uh, He's uh, man. Uh, all right, so hey, now... In the, hangover, in the hangover, Zach was the one-man wolf pack, okay? You gotta show some love that's, there, too. That's a fair that's a point. Movie. That's that pretty strong. Point. All right, now let's focus on the area where these schools are located. We want to know the best TV show to be based out of North Carolina and Philly. Raheem, who are you going with here? I'm going with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia He's Solid with ah. Danny DeVito. You can't beat that. All right, Scotty, that's give us the show. best show that was based in North Carolina that's better than that one. Oh, but Raheem, you can beat that. It's one of the greatest shows in American history. It's called The Andy Griffith Show, okay? You got Andy, Barney, uh, Fife, Aunt Fee, Opie. I'm telling you, it's, it's incredible. Uh, so, yeah. uh, and, and listen, America's go-to whistle. Whenever anybody in America is bored, what do they do? Hey, hey, slow down that whistle. We don't want to get sued. We don't, we don't have permission oh, for that. Oh, hey. It just costs us a few grand. That's I think, all good. I think oh, we want hey, to go to Andy, Andy wants it. 
<laughs> That's right. You know what, Scotty? I'm disappointed. He could have gone eastbound and down. He could have gone at least 30 percent of the dog shows of Dawson's cops Creek too, right? In North Carolina. One Tree Hill. That was some options. That was a lot he could have gone with. I like going with the classic, though. All right, we're gonna go with food: the Philly cheesesteak against Krispy Kreme, which originated in NC. Scotty, which is the food of choice for college students? Let me tell you what, brother. There ain't nothing crispy about a hot Krispy Kreme donut. All right, that thing will melt in your mouth. It's a little taste. Heaven, when the hot lights on, they've been running to downtown Raleigh. Uh, nothing beats Krispy Kreme, man. Uh, and I gotta throw in Bojangles chicken too. You get Bojangles chicken, finish it off with Krispy Kreme. You're doing okay. You got a good day. That was a great commercial. <laughs> yes, that was, was a great commercial. Uh, hey, that hey, explains hey. our obesity problem in America. As well. And, well, and mostly <laughs> down south. Raheem, defend the food of Philly. Philly cheesesteak. I mean, Krispy Kreme, I didn't even know. Nobody knows it's from North Carolina or anything. Oh, they've been Philly donuts cheese up there. Is Philly, everybody across the country is trying to get the classic Philly cheesesteak. They're trying to have that Philly cheesesteak. It's the best food in our country. Cheesesteak from Philly. Hey, Raheem, are you Pat of Geno's? <laughs> are you Pat of Geno's, Raheem? Geno's? Yeah, you Geno's are packed. I'm, I'm North Philly Max's cheesesteak. North oh. Philly Max's uh. ordinary Max's cheesesteak. That's the best <laughs> cheesesteaks in Philadelphia. I think Raheem might have an interest in Max's cheesesteak <laughs> yeah. right there. All right, <laughs> fellas, this has all been just a warm up for the main event, which is the reason you guys are here. We're here to talk about the NCAA tournament in this second round matchup. Raheem, you're up first. Who is going to win the game between Temple and NC State? I think Temple's going to win. I don't know who on North Carolina State is going to stop. Khalif Watt. Khalif Watt is one of the best players on our team. He's like the Kobe on the Lakers. He's like the LeBron James on Miami Heat. Who's going to stop Khalif Watt? You tell me. All right, Scotty, you got it. Why is NC State going to pull it off? Well, let's start off first off with coaching. You got Mark Godfrey came in his first year, took that team that didn't make the NIT the year before, took him to the Sweet 16. He has four of those five returning starters back this year, along with three McDonald's All-American freshmen that are there. They lost to Kansas in the Sweet 16 last year by three points, could have made the Elite Eight. You got Lorenzo Brown, led the ACC in assists. Richard Howell led the ACC in rebounding. You got Scott Woods, second in the ACC in three-point field goals made, and he led the ACC in free throw percentage. That comes big. That, that's, that comes in handy in the NCAA tournament when these games get tight. C.J. Leslie, uh, he can stop them, I'm telling you. But the biggest thing, y'all, it's been 30 years. 30 years since 83 and Jim Valvano. I think it's time. I think State can make a run. Don't sleep on us. All right, that's All solid. Right, Dickie that, V better watch out. Scott that, McCreary's coming for his job. Hey, hey, hey. Right. I didn't hear anybody on there say they could play defense. Oh. All, right. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Before we get to the deliberations, I do want to thank Raheem Brock, Temple alum and Super Bowl champion, and my man Scotty McCreary, who's an NC State student and American hey, Idol hey. winner. What do you think? Uh, Raheem, I give him credit for dressing up. He's got the tie on, but I think somebody told him he was going to be on ESPN yep. and not ESPN U. Uh, so I give Scotty credit for looking like our crowd. Well, looking you know? like us. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. hey I'm, at a, I'm at a fundraiser right now. Oh, you know, okay. I, I'm, at, I'm here, oh, I'm here uh, doing something to, right to, to raise money for the kids. Right, so I had, both, to, I had to dress up a little bit. You guys have both already made us feel like a couple of degenerates they for have. not doing anything with our lives. I was riding with Raheem. Raheem had me going with the Philly cheesesteaks. I'm a Philly cheesesteak kind of guy. I gotta go with but, Scotty. Uh, That's my but Scotty book. brought it at the end, man. You know Scotty what? Brought it at the end you know the what? I, I, I got I got family in North Carolina. I <laughs> once got robbed in Philly. Not to mention the fact that I went to a wedding in Philly, waited in line to see the Liberty Bell, and it was a replica. Not even the real thing. I'm giving it to Scotty uh, McCreary, NC State student, American hey, Idol champion. Hey, man, we're the oldest, we're the oldest city in the country. Something, I mean, there's stuff falling apart. We got to put replicas up. What can we say? I'm He's sorry. still going. It, might be, time. it might be time to euthanize Philly. Your time is coming. Go on, baby.